What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, Dante Smith, um, offensive lineman out of East Carolina. The Cincinnati Bengals drafted him in the fourth round. He is 6'5 and 305 pounds. Um, so, the better features of him is his feet are pretty solid. I wouldn't say they're necessarily elite, but they're good. And he can move a little bit. He has some, he has some athleticism to him. Um, but he could definitely stand for getting stronger, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, the 305 isn't really necessarily a problem if you're really strong. But I think he could stand to get a little bit stronger. Some of the more powerful offensive linemen do give him some trouble. Uh, I do see him as a tackle just because he doesn't really have the power to want to put him in at guard. Um, there is a misconception, I think, that some people have that, you know, guards are just straight up inferior to tackles. That's not the case. They're just, they just have different skill sets. Uh, tackles require you to be a little bit more athletic. Um, then guards, but guards, you have to be stronger. I mean, just based on who your opponents are going to be. Uh, when you're, you know, a tackle, you're going to be up against primarily like athletic edge rushers most of the time. So you have to have that athleticism in the footwork. Um, but guards, you're up against defensive tackles most of the time, which are, you know, 300 plus usually. Uh, so you definitely need more of that strength. And I don't think he would make for uh, as good of a guard as he would a tackle. But I do think he's a developmental guy. Um, his hand placement could really, really use some work. It's kind of all over the place. He gets him outside. He gets him low. Gets him high. He doesn't really seem to have a plan of where he wants to put his hands. They can also get a little bit wide sometimes too, like before contact. Um, typically, you want them like tucked in right by your chest, so that you know when they get in range, you can fire out. Uh, his length is actually pretty decent. It's he's six five. He just really needs to work on using his hands a little bit, bit a little bit more effectively. And um, I think he knows that he needs to work on his hands too, uh, because even on the field, you see him sometimes trying to overcompensate for his hands. Uh, so he has a tendency to overreact when someone is going inside or outside. Like he'll get himself out of position because he knows. Um, He's got to get his hands on him quickly because he's he he doesn't have the hand technique to change direction and you know reengage, and he also has a tendency to lean forward to, to to try to get a hold of people. You don't really want to be leaning too much. Now sometimes like in like the run game, you can do quick sets, especially if you are someone who's lacking power. Uh, just kind of quickly fire out your hands the second the play starts. Uh, just to try to give you some of that advantage. But you don't want to do that too much, and you really don't want to do that during pass sets. Um, because if you're leaning forward, like, just momentum. If you're leaning forward and someone pulls your cloth, like, you're already doing half the work for them. They're, you're going to end up on your face a lot of times. Or if they, like, do a, if, if you know, they do a club move over the top and swim over, you're going to end up on your face. Like There's just a bunch of different ways that they could put you on your face if you're going to be leaning. Um, also, you know, they can, you know, just move you aside because you're already off balance, you know. So that is, uh, that's something I do want to see him work on. I do think he is a developmental tackle for sure, but there are some things to like. Like I said, his footwork is pretty good. He's got some athleticism to him. Um, if he can work on getting a little bit stronger and work on his hands and, you know, stop the leaning, uh, I think he could be a decent tackle eventually. Um, typically tackles in the fourth round, they're going to be developmental guys anyway, so it is what it is. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.